Hey y'all, welcome to the final module, module nine, course summary and additional resources. This one shouldn't be so bad, so we'll get started, um, get all this uh, boring stuff out of the way so you can get back to hands-on exercises and the testing. Uh, agenda really is just course recap, key takeaways, additional resources, and next steps. So course recap, obviously we went through all the blue modules. You know, we introdu introduced you to Genesis Cloud and Architect, we helped you get set up and navigate Architect, we created a call flow, components and basics, we created our first basic call flow. Then we kind of advanced that with some advanced call flow features. Then we started integrating that with, uh, with Genesis Cloud, uh, talked about testing, debugging, and deploying. Finally, that last one, that monitoring and optimizing call flows. So the takeaways from this, really for understanding Genesis Cloud and Architect, just gaining that solid understanding of Genesis Cloud as a contact center platform and Architect as its call flow design tool navigating that architect interface, just mastering the architect interface, that toolbar, toolbox, workspace and properties panel for the call flow components and basics, really just learning the fundamentals of the call flows and their components, uh, including how to add components, uh, configure the properties and connect them. Uh, creating basic call flows, that was, a, that was fun and easy. I always love creating call flows and, and developing them. Uh, but just adding, developing the skills to create those call flows, basic, uh, focusing on proper component connections and logic, advanced call flow features, exploring uh, advanced call flow features such as looping, timeouts, variables, data actions, uh, and creating more dynamic and efficient call routing. Once then, integrating those call flows with Genesis Cloud, understanding the integration of call flows with Genesis Cloud components, including queues, users, groups, and interactive voice response, IVR. Uh, testing, debugging, deploying those call flows, just mastering the process of testing, debugging prior to going live. That way, when you deploy those, you are confident that those things are working correctly for your customers. Monitoring and optimizing those call flows. Obviously, this is something that's going to be ongoing forever uh, in the life of Genesis Cloud. You uh, Just monitoring the call flow performance using the analytics and reporting features and optimizing call flows based on key metrics, KPIs. Um, like all like call abandonment rate, average handle time, and first contact resolution rate. Finally, continuous improvement. Um, this, along with option eight, is never going to stop. Uh, honestly, testing, debugging, integrate, all those things are pretty much going to go on forever, but continuous improvement kind of envelops all of it. Embracing the con concept of continuous improvement and adapting call flows to changing business needs, ensuring your contact center remains efficient and effective. So additional resources. Here are the, the, the links that you guys need. This is good, uh, mypurecloud.com. This is anything documented for Genesis Cloud and Architect that has, uh, I go there daily. Um, that is a good, uh, a good link to go to if you have any questions or just need some basic help. I link to, the, I link to these to our customers quite often. Um, that way they have it. Uh, it's always good resources. The community forums, this says developer.genesis.cloud. Great idea. You could do a search in there for, uh, let's say you want to add some variable, but you want to do some certain things to it. That is a great place to go in there. There's so much information from a developer standpoint that will help you. Online tutorials and webinars, they have those there um, at, on YouTube. Uh, there isn't any particular ones that show you how to go through what we did here. Um, I have been looking for a long time to see if there was any. There, they do not have it, but they have some good information based around upcoming things that are happening. They're getting deployed as well as some of the older stuff just because of when they've come out. Uh, the uh, Genesis Cloud of Training Programs, this is training for the certifications. Uh, when it comes to architect training, they're not gonna provide what's been provided here. They're gonna provide book training. Um, there's, they're not gonna show you how to build call flows. They're really just gonna give you the basic information. That way you guys, know how to pass the test and you have a general concept of it. Uh, this goes into a little bit depth, deeper. With that one, you do need to have licensing. Um, so if your business has some Genesis Beyond licensing, you're good to go. If not, they will have to set up an account and talk to Genesis Cloud about that. So next steps. This is kind of for completing the course. Keep practicing the call flow creation architect. You might be well on your way. You might be ready to go and start creating call flows for the company. Um, obviously, that, that's going to be up to your business or up to your manager, whoever's, uh, whoever's the one that has that word. Uh, make sure just applying those skills, learning in real world contact center. Uh, the reason why we created this course is because we hadn't seen courses out there that do that. Um, from a perspective of just learning the book knowledge of it, there's tons. Uh, applying the skills like what we've done here, I don't see any. Um, you can pursue certification with Genesis Cloud or Architect. I would recommend Genesis Beyond just so you know what's there. 
Uh, I have tried to ensure everything is in here for those, you know, for this certification. It may not be. I really wanted hands-on experience, and if we got that, uh, great. But always Genesis Beyond kind of gives you that book knowledge. And then just make sure networking with other Genesis Cloud users and experts in those links that you have, like the developer link, that does have some great resources to connect to people from all over the world um, that work for Genesis, as well as work for all of their partners that answer questions you know, and, and have discussion. So conclusion, glad you guys reached the end of this course. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you learned something. I wanna express my heartfelt gratitude to your time, dedication and commitment to this learning. Remember that learning do, do, doesn't end here. It's, it's like uh, you know, progressing for yourself or anyone else. Make sure you keep going. Encourage you to continue uh, exploring, practicing and applying these concept techniques you've learned here to further your, enhance your context center operations. As always, if you do need to reach out to me um, on the site or individually, there's my information below. You can go to getdenims.com. There's a lot of articles, blogs there, uh, books uh, that we've went through and we've written. Uh, also, you can reach out to my personal email there. Um, and we thank you for your time. Obviously, after this, I there might be a another hands-on course. There is that practice test. I believe it's 45 questions. Feel free to take that. All of this stuff should be able to be downloaded. You should be able to save it all. I think the videos you can't, but everything else, all the content you can. Um, and if you have any questions or if you think I'm missing something here, feel free to reach out. Till next time, uh, I know we have some agent training that's going to be coming up. We're also going to have some admin training that's coming up and a deeper dive into architect. Uh, good luck and thank you for your time. Thanks, all.